Now guys, as you can see, we got a loaded, loaded building here with carts in it. It's certainly pretty full. See, there's a bunch in here. I didn't do a lot in the way of filming this whole setup because I just didn't. I got my temporary, my little alien heater thing here. Patio heater. I use it when I'm in here working on this. This is our, um, well this is not our, this is my MagnaSign Magnum Inverter. It's a 240 volt output at 60 hertz, uh, 30 amps. Uh, there's still a couple of things I need to do to completely finish it up. I gotta put the cable gland down here for the battery inputs. I have to get solar, I gotta wait for the solar charge controller to come in, which is gonna go here. I have to get my solar panel set up. Here's my 48 volt battery bank. It's four 12 volt batteries. These are Discovery batteries. Discovery or Discover? Discover batteries. They are, I believe they're 120 amp hours. If I'm not mistaken, I'll have to double check the spec sheet, but I don't remember off the top of my head. But the way it works is we have the inverter, which I'm gonna turn on. Okay, so it's hunting for a circuit or for a load. We turn the light on. We have light. It's just kind of hanging there. It's a LED shop light. And then you can see we're inverting and that light barely uses any juice. Oh, I should mention these batteries are gels. They're gels or AGMs. I don't even know. I have to double check. I didn't come very prepared to uh, film this at all, but yes. So. The inverter is hung on the wall. The way it works is we have our DC breaker, which is 175 amps. This two amp breaker runs the battery control kit, or I'm sorry, the battery monitoring kit, BMK, for the inverter, which basically tells this remote what the battery pack is doing, how much amperage is going through it and all that stuff, you know, the normal stuff, with a little bit more detail. And then we have our AC in breaker right here, which it's off because there's no outside AC source yet. I do have a generator inlet plug I have to get mounted to the outside of the building. I just haven't decided exactly where I'm going to put it yet, uh, only because I'm not sure exactly where I want to put the generator. Because once I set the generator, that's going to be where it stays. Or at least that's you know where I, I plan to put it. Uh, the temporary setup I have is going to be a 30 amp generator inlet plug. And at some point, I'm going to have a, probably going to have a, whatchamacallit, a, stand, a propane standby generator. Let's see if I can move this light over here and get some more light on everything. Okay, so now that I have basically, um, I, I have the works in place now, so I have electricity in the building. I have no way to charge the batteries yet without doing some questionable jerry-rigging with a generator and this inverter, but I really don't wanna do that, so I'm just gonna hold off until I have everything correct. But yeah, it's a pretty impressive gig here. I mean, I was charging some golf carts with it already, and I still haven't needed to charge these batteries up. Uh, I don't leave the inverter on in inverting mode when I'm not here. I typically just shut the inverter down, but I do leave it powered by the DC side. This building is a good, or this wall right here, is a good eight, 900 feet off of the main road. And to get utilities down in here without having to pay for a commercial rate even though it's the same damn electricity that a house is gonna use, I don't really wanna pay that extremely inflated kilowatt hour rating rate. So I am just gonna make my own electricity and use it this way. And if this inverter works as well as it does, the way it is, I may just add another inverter and stack them. And then I'll have, I should have more than enough power for this building. I even think this setup the way it is right now, I have more than enough power, but I'm not 100% sure. But yeah, that's, uh, I know I'm going on tangents here, but yeah, right now I don't have anything permanently set up as far as like hanging lights or whatever. I just have this four foot LED shop light that I'm holding in my hands right now just to provide light because I don't have it set up. But uh, yeah, that is the gig here. Um, the main thing that this is set up for now is I, I got this power set up so I can actually start building the battery box right here underneath the inverter. So that way when it comes time to do other things in here, it's done. I don't have to worry, really worry about much. And then uh, I'm just waiting for my scaffolding to come in and then I can start pulling wire up, 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 up into the ceiling. 
I really don't need a lot of electricity out here yet. This is basically, it's just a storage building right now. There's nothing else in here other than golf cart storage. And some of my stuff is here too. You know I mean? It's a very large space. So I want to put some stuff in it and at least utilize it. So yeah, I'm getting away from that small rinky dink inverter crap that's on the market today. You know, it, it's good for somebody that's, that doesn't need to run their, basically their entire house with. This I'm planning to be as my main source of electricity. So I want something strong enough, reliable enough, and able to provide me 220 volts at 60 Hertz North American power. Okay, so you may be asking, well, what do you really need 220 for? I live in the middle of nowhere, so I need a well, and well pumps typically run on, typically run on 240 volt. Uh, you can get some DC pumps, you can get some hand pumps, you can get 120 volt pumps, uh, but I want a 240 volt system so there's even load distribution going through this inverter to keep my loads balanced. That's very important. I think maybe in a future video I'll pop this cover off this uh, interconnect system here and show you what the breakers do and how it's all wired. Solar panels will be coming soon. I'm going to get some mission solar panels. I think they're 295 watts a piece. I'm going to get a pallet of them. That's uh, 24 panels. I have uh, that, That's not going to be happening for a while. I'm just going to tell you right now because I have to clear the site for the panels, which they're going to be all ground mounted. I don't like roof mounted systems. Uh, I'm just not a fan of them because it's so much easier to clean and maintain a ground mount system without having to worry about getting up on a roof. And this roof at its peak is 22 feet tall. So I just really don't want to be up there. Uh, we'll probably have more videos coming out once uh, the solar stuff comes in. I mean, I do have the charge controller coming in. It's a, it's a Magnum Energy PT100. It's 100 amp rated, um, like 100 volts, 90 volts or something like that. It's going to be going into it. So yeah, it's going to be great. It's going to be awesome to have all that solar coming in. But for now, I'm going to be using my Windy Nation solar panels. So, all right, guys, that's uh, pretty much it. Till next time, we'll see you in the next video.